Hey guys, it's me, Lisa, and today I'm going to make for you my simple, delicious, and easy recipe called sweet potato quinoa mash. You need four simple ingredients. Sweet potato, onion, quinoa, and coconut oil. And that's it. You can put spices on it if you want. However, I like it very simple. I love all the flavors, and I don't feel like I need to add anything in there. So now, let's go on over and make the sweet potato quinoa mash. Peel the sweet potato. You're gonna peel your onion by cutting off both ends. And then I like to cut a little slit here to get the rest of the skin off. This is the brand of quinoa I use. It's organic. It takes 15 minutes to cook. It's already washed. A lot of people like to sprout their quinoa. However, what I'm going to do is just, uh, it just says to rinse it, so I rinse it. And then I just let it sit in the pot until I get the sweet potato cut up and the onions cut up. So this brand is True Roots, connected by nature, quinoa, and it's non-GMO. Now you're going to put a teaspoon of coconut oil. I've got Nativa Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. Just put it in the pan. I like to, some people say don't do this to your pans, but I'm not scratching or anything. I like to spread out the coconut oil a little bit. So now that I have the coconut all spread out, I still don't turn on the heat for the other stuff, but I do turn on the heat for the coconut oil. And so what I'm gonna put that on, depending on the stove you have, I'd say between low and medium heat. If you have a stove that goes by numbers one to uh, zero to uh, 10 or nine, I believe, then you're gonna put it on four. Okay, so now I'm ready to chop up my onion, and this is how I chop the onion. Well, I don't chop it up, I just cut it into slivers. So I cut it in half, and then I cut it into slivers, like so. Just cut them roughly around the same size. There you go. And they're ready to saute. After this, I'm gonna chop up my sweet potato and I'm gonna put it in the steamer. And after that, once it's in the steamer, get the rest of the food going. The quinoa is supposed to go to a boil, and then once it's at a boil, then I have to cover it for 15 minutes. So total time of this recipe is probably about 20 minutes. I'm going to uh, chop up the sweet potato, and what I do is basically the same concept as the onion, and if you're anything like me, you have weak arms, so it's really hard to chop up a sweet potato. And what I do is I roughly chop it in half. And then what I like to do is, it's almost the same process as the onions, but I do another half cut. So, so far I've cut the sweet potato into four. And then what I do is same concept as the onion, into slices. Be sure to not forget to put um, some water in the bottom of your steam pot. Some people forget that, trust me, I've even forgot that. So it's very important that you put, I don't know, just I don't know if you can actually see how much 
much water I have in here. I didn't actually measure anything. So, unless, I don't know what size of pot that is, how many liters, but if you can see that water, you know there's a fair amount in there. So, now you put your chopped up sweet potato in there. so that you get an even steam. And then you cover your sweet potatoes. And this is the point where I'm going to turn on the temperature for the sweet potatoes and for the quinoa. Okay, so starting out with the sweet potatoes, I usually put it on about six and a half or seven, it just depends. And I don't cover the quinoa yet, that is coming. What I do is I turn the temperature for the quinoa on max to get it boiling just until it starts to boil a bit and then I turn it down to about seven and then once it's really, it's really sort of boiling, then I turn the heat down to about two and then leave it for 15 minutes. The quinoa is already starting to boil a bit. I'm now going to turn down the heat to about seven. Once it's fully boiling, I will turn down the heat to low and I will cover the quinoa at that point. And then you, you cook for the 15 minutes. And once I do that, I usually set the timer because everything else done. Uh, the only thing I have to keep an eye on right now are the onions that I'm sauteing. Usually you just wait until they're golden brown or if you feel like having them a little blackened that's that's decent too. It just depends on what your preference is. It is definitely better for us um, health wise when we uh, don't blacken them too much and we just kind of go with a very nice brown golden. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you a bit about sweet potatoes. They're high in vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin D. However, um, I have heard that the uh, vitamin D that is in fruits and vegetables isn't absorbable by the human body for some reason. I don't know if that's necessarily true because our bodies are pretty smart. Sweet potato also has iron in it, which is good. You don't want to be iron deficient because you can cause yourself to have anemia if it gets that bad. Quinoa. Quinoa is a full amino acid profile. It has all of them and it's, it just tastes absolutely amazing. Apparently you can use it for breakfast, it's a good replacement for rice or couscous. Apparently it's not a grain, so it's, it's better for you in that way if you have any gluten intolerances. It's, it's so great. Very versatile. And onions. You know the story about onions. It's just if you ate a whole one of these, it's almost as bad as eating garlic. You are going to keep the vampires away. Just kidding. Vampires don't exist. Onions. Antibacterial, antifungal, yum e. If you're daring, eat one. If you're not, just put it in this recipe. Now everything is done. What you're gonna do is you're gonna mash your sweet potato. Then I add a teaspoon of coconut oil. onions, then I mash it again for a little bit. I used to actually use um, safflower oil for this recipe and then when a friend and I were discussing all the benefits of coconut oil and how it can even help you lose weight, it can help you go to the bathroom, it's got laxative properties. You know, I thought, well, you know what? I'll uh, start using coconut oil. And it's, it's, a, it's got a high smoke point too. So 
so it's very perfect for uh, sauteing those onions. Now I add in the quinoa. And so as you can see, there's about a fair amount here. You could probably feed four people a small portion with the rest of your meal. I like to have about a third of this recipe in a meal with some sort of salad or something. I usually don't eat meat with sweet potato. Once in a while I will. It just depends on how I'm feeling digestively because when you mix a starch and a high protein like that, such as meat, it can be very hard on your system. The thing is, is that a, the quinoa is a different amino acid composition than the protein that you find in meat. So I don't seem to have very many digestive issues with this combination and it's actually really delicious. So now you mash it all together and like I said, you can add in more spices if you'd like. I like to have it just like this. The flavors of the coconut oil, the sweet potato and the quinoa are beautiful. This is the end result. Basically a very healthy version of mashed potatoes. Sweet potato has less starch and it's processed differently in the body than that of normal uh, everyday potatoes. So why not make sweet potato an everyday potato? Well, I don't eat it every day either, but when I do make the recipe, I sometimes share it it depends if the other people in the house uh, have other stuff that they already plan on eating and if they do then I have three days worth of food. I'm not really hungry right now, I just ate my supper. People like seeing people try these things. The flavors are amazing. If you're a salt person, you might want to put some sea salt or Himalayan crystal salt on this dish. The coconut oil, wow, it gives it that little bit of an exotic flavor. I want to thank you for watching today. If you make this recipe, comment below, or if you're going to make the recipe, comment and or send me a message. And once you make it, let me know how it went. I love it, and I feel like I had to share this recipe with you because it's one of my favorite dishes. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening or a wonderful day. Namaste.